Hi, I just wanted to have a real candid talk with you and share my heart a few things as well as challenge you. The other day I was challenged by Darren, by my Darren Daly. The topic of the day is how many people do you really truly connect with versus how many people do you communicate with? And he told us to really sit down and examine and see how many people we're communicating with versus how many people we're truly making a deep connection with, you know, spending face-to-face, heart-to-heart time with in the same physical space, in the same actual reality, not just Facebooking or posting or Snapchatting or emailing or video calling, video chatting, whatever you want to call it, to really sit down and examine how many people you're actually connecting with and imparting your time and and mentoring or whatever you want to put there to build those healthy relationships. And as I sat down and considered this, I realized shockingly, rather saddenly, saddenly, there we go, that really I'm not really connecting with that many people at all. I mean, I am communicating with a lot of people via these videos, Facebook, uh, Twitter, don't really use Snapchat that much, never was my thing. But I'm commu- I'm communicating a lot of information throughout the day, whether it's just trying to encourage people, rather to edify people or whatever, but I'm not really spending face-to-face time with people the way I should. I've been guilty of pushing people away and keeping them at arm's length for a variety of reasons, and I can list a whole bunch you know, I'm, I'm a quiet person a lot of times. Well, maybe not once you get to know me, then sometimes they wish they'd shut up. But I'm a very reserved person a lot of times because I'm afraid of getting hurt, so I tend to keep a little bit of a barrier up. Also, I tend to be very overwhelmed with crowds, so sometimes I tend to sit at home more than I should. There's a variety of reasons or excuses or justifications I can make for it. The truth is, I just haven't made as much of an effort as I should at making real life connections and inviting people to have dinner or lunch. Uh, Maybe because I've been rejected a lot in the past, but whatever the reason is, I need to make more of an effort to make real meaningful connections with people and not just communicating a bunch of information. I don't want my legacy to be, oh, he communicated a lot of information to people. He really encouraged a lot of people via communication but he never really spent time with people. I want to be a healthy, balanced person and have real life friendships and healthy relationships and not just online communication. That's not who I want to be as a person. I want to be a healthy, rounded person. That said, the reason I'm sharing this with you is I want you to also do the same to follow that same challenge and sit down and really think about how many people you are truly connecting with on a human level, spending face-to-face time with, versus just communicating via Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, email, you know, all that stuff. How many people are you truly, truly investing time with and making true heart-to-heart, person-to-person, healthy connection and relationship with? How many people are you truly investing your time in each day and in your life and uh, like Darren challenged write down how many people you are truly communicating and spending time with each day for at least a week and then examine that versus how many people are just commu- you're just communicating with and that number will be surprising and shocking and saddening to you but now you can do something about it like I'm choosing to do something about it I'm going to start making more of an effort to set up lunch dates dinner dates times to hang out with people and just communicate, hear their heart, let them hear my heart, and build those healthy relationships. And I challenge you to do the same, to really truly examine your heart and to begin to correct the deficit. Because while communication via those other things is necessary in life, it's part of business, it's part of life, it's part of reaching out to relatives that aren't nearby and friends that aren't nearby, but it can't outscale the time we spend with actual people. So that's my challenge to you. Join me in this pursuit of creating balance in your life. 
and really investing in the lives around you and becoming a more healthy, round, round, well-rounded person yourself and not just some personality out there just shooting out endless amounts of in information and communication but never really taking time to value a person on a human level. So again, that's my challenge to you. Join me in this pursuit and please help me hold me accountable, all my local friends, to this challenge as well because it's easy to say we're going to do it and then not get around to it. At any rate, you guys have an awesome day. Thank you for hearing my heart and for sharing my journey with me and for joining in this journey to a happier, healthy, successful you and for keeping me accountable to doing the same. God bless you all.